fourth question type 3 trigonometric function so here we have got cube okay so till now we did square and all now we have got cube so whenever you're getting trigonometric cube always look into which direction we have to look into sine 3 theta sine 3x cos 3x tan 3x like that we have to take care okay because there only we can get what some form of difference form so here so here we have got sine cube 3x so we have to see for what sine 3x so the formula for sine 3x or sine 3 theta is equal to 3 sine x minus 4 sine cube x now the thing is that in this particular thing we can see what cube is there this particular thing i want so shift everything to left hand side and keep this one here so what will happen sin 3x minus 3 sin x now by minus 4 is there so this will become plus this will become minus divided by 4 is equal to sin cube x or in other words sin cube x can be written as 1 by 4 3 sin x minus sin 3x simple so if you want you can just remember this formula that's it now this apply will apply over here so what will happen let us name this as y y function sin cube 3x what is x in place of x i am having 2x so be careful while putting the values so 1 by 4 3 sin it will be what 2x minus 3 sin 3 x is there in place of that 2x so very careful be very careful while putting here x is there but here 3x is there so 3 into 2x so y term becomes so understand here this 2x is nothing but x value okay now it will become 1 by 4 3 sin 2x minus this will be multiply sin 6x so we have got the values now we can directly it is in difference form we can directly find the nth derivative right so nth derivative yn is equal to 1 by 4 now 3 is a constant that you can take it outside 3 into nth derivative of sin 2x minus nth derivative of sin 6x now is it necessary to write d power n no it is not necessary d power n basically means what nth derivative so if you are writing y n that basically means what you are finding nth derivative so no need to write d power n for your understanding purpose i am writing so what will happen we are having formula for sin a x plus b so if suppose y is equal to sin a x b is equal to n then the nth derivative of that is given by a power n into sin n pi by 2 plus a x plus b this is the formula so this you have to apply over here so what will happen y n is equal to 1 by 4 into 3 as it is a power n now you will ask me where is b term a x plus b is there here only a x is there so b term you have to assume it as what 0 simple so here a value is what coefficient of x here it is 2 so it will be 2 power n into sin n pi by 2 plus a x plus b so a x term is 2 x plus b if you want you can write it as plus 0 otherwise leave it minus sin 6x what is a term here a term is 6 so it will be 6 power n sin n pi by 2 plus 6x done okay so this will be the final answer if you want you can take 2 power n as common but not required this is a final answer